YouTube. This video right here is about the use of buffers and this is specifically for people who are using RO water or RODI water and I wanted to do uh, an upfront note on this that um, you should not be adding alkaline buffer or neutral regulator is to be used in conjunction with um, with an acidic buffer or with a uh, discus buffer that's what it's supposed to you know they're supposed to be used in conjunction with each other and neither one of these should be added directly to the tank water they should be added to your barrels or to your buckets or to your water container wherever you're storing your water at don't try to monkey around with the pH inside of your tank while your fish are still in there if you have great tap water coming out of the faucet then uh, I'm envious of you I don't I'm in Oklahoma we have very very hard water uh, and so I wanted to give you a, a, a disclaimer on this before I start don't monkey around with the pH of your tank while your fish are in it mess with the pH um, in your storage containers before you put it in there all right guys okay I'm back again and this time I'm gonna do uh, a little video on buffers and RO water and also some trace elements uh, I originally did a short video on it and I saw that it had gotten um, it had gotten you know a good amount of views and so I thought well you know maybe I didn't cover it enough and so I wanted to go ahead and touch up on it right now for you guys um, so as you can see right here this is this is a C cams C cam collection I you know pretty much I only use uh, you know I, I only use C cam uh, they make a real awesome product and um, the <clears throat> I, I, I use an RODI uh, unit number one because my water here in Oklahoma is just way way too hard and um, when I first started out in the hobby uh, here in Oklahoma I tried to use um, I tried uh, water softener pillows that didn't work I tried um, uh, driftwood that didn't work you know and, and, and really I was just kind of kind of searching for answers as far as you know what can I do to make my water soft where I don't have to actually go out and buy an RODI unit and you know what I had to go out and buy an RODI unit so um, the with once I went ahead and made the initial purchase it made keeping soft water aquaria a lot easier and you know I really didn't have any problems with it you know you're you're just gonna get a base water and of course it, you know you can look at the the alkaline buffer is my small bottle because I just don't need a lot of it and I don't use a lot of it so this right here is you know will probably last me about a year um, you know I put I put you know one scoop to every uh, two scoops that I use of the you know either the acid buffer or the discus buffer and the the difference in between like the neutral regulator and the alkaline buffer is that the the alkaline buffer the acid buffer and the discus buffer the discus buffer and the neutral regulator are meant for non-planted tanks because they're phosphate based they really have the same thing in them except for the discus buffer and the neutral regulator is phosphate based and phosphate can cause outbreaks of blackbeard algae which um, I had inside my tank my Siamese algae eaters have wiped that out I've done a couple of videos on them if you want to check it out you know please do Siamese algae eaters are great um, but really there's the same thing in them except for you know neither one of them is gonna is, 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 is you know better or worse for your discus it's just about you know what's better or worse for a planted tank basically so um, when you're using a buffer you know you, you just if, if you have an RODI unit then you can just add the buffer and let it sit for 24 hours and then you know you can you can uh, measure your pH and you can see you know where it's at and then also um, you know this uh, freshwater trace right here 
Fresh Trace or Discus Trace, they both have the exact same, same thing in them. Again, the, uh, the Discus Trace is meant for a non-planted tank. Uh, Fresh Trace is meant for planted. One is phosphate based, one is not, but they both have the same exact thing in them. You can go on Seachem's website and you can look at it and they'll say if you have a planted tank, then use Fresh Trace. If you have a non-planted tank, then use, uh, uh, use, uh, use Discus Trace. So, um, you know, the, it, it, I, I'll give you one word of caution and that is don't take the buffers, the acid buffers, and try to add them directly to your tank. If you do that, you can actually burn the discus gills. Um, so if, if you see them breathing out of one gill, or if you see them kind of getting irritated, skin irritated, and they're rubbing, and you know they don't really look happy, uh, you know, then that's because you can actually harm their gills. So uh, that's a, a word of a word of caution when using that. Use it inside of uh, you know your your barrel or your buckets or whatever and then measure it and then the great thing about it is that once you've actually done uh, your measuring one time you, you don't ever have to really question what you know what amounts to use because you're pretty much always going to know it if you're using tap water and and you know or RO and tap water mix what I've found is that you know the the the, the mineral content and the level of mineral content can change you know, based off of, of uh, you know, different times of year, to, you know, to even different times of day. I don't know what's inside my tap water. I don't know what type of chemicals that, you know, that they're putting inside their tap water. And so for me, it was just a lot easier to go ahead and use, uh, use an RODI unit, use, uh, uh, you know, use plain, uh, clean and pure water, and then just add back what the fish need. You know, it, it, it really is that simple. All right, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Check it later.